Welcome back to our course on PSC 2018. In this section we're going to look at another one of the common problems that you may need to overcome in your photos and that is haze. This is a picture of the island of Gibraltar and as is often the case with pictures taken over a long distance and very often at sea there's quite a big haze problem here. Traditionally you could often overcome haze problems by things like sharpening which you've seen already and by adjusting the contrast in an image but within PSE there is a very specific haze removal feature. There are two versions of it that we're going to look at in this section. There is the auto version and then there is one with a straightforward dialog, the haze removal dialog. Let's start with the auto version up to the enhance menu auto haze removal look carefully at the picture as PSE does its work it does take it a little while I think that's a pretty good job really the islands a lot clearer and you probably wouldn't really want it totally clear because it will be quite unusual looking out over the sea at a distant island to not have a certain amount of haze in the picture. Let's now try the dialogue version. Again go to the enhance menu and click on haze removal and what you can see here is PSE's first attempt at haze removal in this picture. Now in this particular case with the dialogue in place you can do a direct comparison with the original picture by its side but there's also a control within the dialogue that lets you switch between the before version and the after version and if you're not totally happy with the result you've got a couple of sliders you can use to adapt what PSE has done you can increase or decrease the level of haze reduction it may be that you don't want all haze removed or you only want a very subtle effect etc so this can not only let you adjust how much haze reduction there is but also avoid the picture becoming too artificial looking when PSE has had to do quite a lot of work and you also have a control here to adjust the sensitivity of the haze detection so this in effect sets a threshold for the level at which PSE considers haze to be haze if you like there's a useful link through to the contextual help on haze removal. But that's it for this section. I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, Simon here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe to our channel. Click over there to get the complete 14 hour course for Photoshop Elements 2018. And click over there to get the complete list of videos in this playlist. I'll see you next week with additional videos.